Nah, this is wild, bro. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, yo, man. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, man. Nah, bro. I'm not. Nah, bro. That's just, just no. No. I don't give a fuck what Vince was talking about. Hey, at the end of the match, he going to hit you with his finisher. <laughs> he going to finish on you. Legit. Hey, yo. Nah, bro. Pause. All types of pauses. No, bro. You're not about to be. You're not about to be doing that, bro. You're not about to be trying to give quality pumps to me in the middle of the ring as a big ass guy. No, I'm not doing it. All this is pause. All of this is a no. Vince, I'm, I'm, I quit. <laughs> I quit. I'm not doing that. I'm not receiving that. No. Just no. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're going to check out 10 of WWE's most insane gimmicks ever. Uh, this should be a good one. Uh, this is by the homie uh, Wrestling Flashbacks. If you haven't subscribed, and let me make myself smaller so y'all can see. If you haven't subscribed to their channel, go ahead and subscribe to them. Uh, I actually am. I'm just on the In The Clutch uh, YouTube account right now. So I didn't switch over to my account. Um, but to, just to show y'all proof that I am subscribed to the homie. You know what I'm saying? Let me switch over. Boom. There you go. Subscribe to the homie Wrestling Flashback. Definitely dope wrestling content. And we're going to get right into this one. Not going to waste any more time. I want to see. So go down memory lane of some of these uh, insane gimmicks. Just trust me when I say there were some wild gimmicks, wrestling gimmicks that were actually pushed on WWE television that to this day makes absolute no sense. Let's get right into it, man. Is this on? Wrestling is famous for its many strange and eccentric characters. These wrestlers typically found themselves in many unique and funny situations. Today, we want to highlight such talent and celebrate the best of Bizarre as we list 10 insane WWE gimmicks. During his career, Gene Snitsky went from the baby punting, toe sucking freak to the ugly, yellow teeth, bald psycho who got pleasure from inflicting pain on his opponents. During his foot fetish days, Gene was known for his not my fault catchphrase that began yep. after he caused Lita to miscarry her baby. But it's not my fault. It wasn't my fault. And it wasn't my fault. What happened to you? wasn't my fault it's not my fault king can't get an erection what who's to blame for that that wasn't <laughs> the infatuation with feet was something the real life snitsky enjoyed so it was made part of his gimmick okay no what this little piggy went wee wee I, think, uh, I remember this too. <laughs> oh, they had this man doing some wild stuff on television, man. I remember this. <laughs> but it's a good thing he 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 was enjoying it for the most part. If you're gonna do something, might as well enjoy it, right? <laughs> Wanna no. join us? <laughs> no, join. You like Chinese food? <laughs> Snitsky. I think at this point you can say she's the head of the freaky family too. Has found his addiction. No, go to it. Snitsky was repackaged after jumping to ECW in 2007. He looked absolutely <laughs> grotesque with no hair or eyebrows. Look at that face. Where the hell did he come from? Out of nowhere. He had acne and hideously stained teeth. Yeah. Well, the evil just oozes out of, out of Snitsky. Oh my God, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Power and nothing but rage. Disgusting. Instead of getting his kicks from feet, now all he cared about was punishing other wrestlers. Keep this moment oh, no. oh. oh my god! Damn! <laughs> this nigga just cracked him over the head. No mercy. Oh. Oh my god. But their pain is my pleasure. As much as I like winning matches. I like hurting people just as much. Because my opponent's pain is my pleasure. 
Number two, Viscera. Viscera oh, is the man. For world's largest love machine person yeah. during the Ruthless Aggression era. But the seeds for his character were actually planted back in the Attitude era. Yeah, it's Paco over there. I see he's a little guy. Rest in peace to him, man. Rest in peace to him. Me? I'm a big guy. And hey, mean, yo! Let's try to put the make on Tori on SmackDown Thursday night. No, 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 no! no. Oh, my God! Oh! Well, Mae Young is in the ring right now. And, oh! Oh! Oh, God, what's... What's going to happen? There's Viss! Viss around! Did he fall? <laughs> was that supposed to happen? Or what? I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. As the love machine, Big Viss was enamored with Trish Stratus. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Viscera also famously had a romance with Lillian Garcia. What is going on? I don't remember this. Thing out for you. Hey, yo, what is going on? I don't remember this. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't see this. That's a that's just so wild, bro. <laughs> Once again, this was on our televisions live. That's crazy, bro. It's a cute little room key, baby. <laughs> His rather uncomfortable signature move, the Visagra. A fitting name since Vis was known to take such pills in the locker room back in the day. Nah, this is wild, bro. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, yo, man. Hey, yo, bro. Hey, man. Nah, bro. I'm not. Nah, bro. That's just, just no. No. I don't give a fuck what Vince was talking about. Hey, at the end of the match, he gonna hit you with his finisher. <laughs> he gonna finish on you. Legit. Hey, yo. Nah, bro. Pause. All types of pauses. No, bro. You're not about to be... You're not about to be doing that, bro. You're not about to be trying to give quality pumps to me in the middle of the ring as a big-ass guy. No, I'm not doing it. All this is pause. All of this is a no. Vince, I'm, I'm I quit. <laughs> I quit. I'm not doing that. I'm not receiving that. No, just no, no. Don't do this, Vince. Don't do it. Hey, yo. No, no. Look at this. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Val Venus was one of the quintessential Attitude Era characters. Oh, the boy. Adam film star was over before even appearing in the ring thanks to memorable vignettes hyping up his debut. I was just doing a little casting for my next film in Good Things. <laughs> Do not come in small packages. <laughs> hello, 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 hello again, ladies. <laughs> And after debuting, the Big Valboski established <laughs> an effective pre-match promo routine that was full of innuendos befitting of his up-and-coming lifestyle. You know something? For the next couple of days, this leg will be known as Christmas, and this leg will be known as New Year's. So ladies, why don't you all come visit the Big Valboski <laughs> between the holidays? <laughs> you women are a lot like Christmas trees. You smell good. You're pretty to look at. But you never really feel special until I plug it in. The Big Balboski and Shaquille O'Neal have a lot in common. We both carry intimidating size. The only difference is, while Shaq may be a little shaky from the outside, 
The Big Valboski's bald headed slam dunker scores every single time. <laughs> now, last night, your girlfriend went all the way down. Deion Sanders may be scoring on prime time, but the Big Valboski is scoring every time. <laughs> the Big Valboski is a lot like a clock. You stick two hands and a face on it, and I'll tell you exactly what time it is. <laughs> is like your family dog. What? He's loyal, he's obedient, and he comes when he's called. <laughs> if you want the ride of a lifetime, <laughs> Big Valboski. Just choke up on that bat and swing for them long balls. That is a gun in my pocket. This gun shoots no blanks. <laughs> WrestleMania only comes once a year. You know what's coming now? The Big Valboski comes every single night. <laughs> I came, I saw. <laughs> Pals feud with Kai and Tai where he sought the affection of Yamaguchi-san's wife. I remember this one losing too. His biggest weapon. Yep. 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 <laughs> I come to you half the man that I used to be. You live by the boy. This is so stupid when you think of I remember that as a kid. I shouldn't have been knowing what the fuck was going on. But I remember this fucking angle. That's oh my god, bro. <laughs> this is so stupid, but so funny at the same time. Sword and you die by the sword. The segments with Val were so raunchy, the WWF had to eventually tone down his character significantly. Yeah. But fans still remember him fondly. There you go, Val. And now the Intercontinental Champion in control. Uh oh, what? What in the world? Oh, what was that? That? Morocco, that was the, the gift from mankind to the rock. Look what Val Venus did with it. Oh, I get it. What? <laughs> they call you the big show. <laughs> I know I've done quite a few adult films. Let me think. Uh, Shaving Ryan's Privates. What? Adhiator. How about Harry Twatter? Number four, what? Eugene. <laughs> Eugene's character was that of a wrestling Saban who wasn't very. Oh, we all remember Eugene, man, and his uh. His uh, uh, storyline with Triple H, oh man, oh, this, <laughs> the things they were able to get away with on television is crazy, bro. Social but had endearing qualities. He couldn't put a square peg in a square hole, but he was a huge fan who knew all the moves and holds. Bro, look at this, bro. <laughs> Eugene was essentially the WWE's Rain Man. He quickly yeah. got over with the audience, allowing people to vicariously live through him since he was a big wrestling fan just like they were. Yeah. Eugene. <laughs> Creative took advantage of Eugene's unique character by putting him in a lot of funny situations. Crisscross. <laughs> and what, what's funny is people were enjoying this this gimmick of this guy that's pretending to have special needs like it's just <laughs> what a time countries perceive america and those countries are right america 
It used to be a place. I'm a limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun. Woo! Woo! I'll show you again in three seconds. They will chant your name again. <laughs> Eugene never met a man he didn't lick. <laughs> WrestleMania 14, when Mike Dyson punched Shawn Michaels in the face, he just ran back and boom! Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. Do we have a deal? Yeah, we got a deal! This type of gimmick was tough to pull off, but Nick Dinsmore kicked it out of the park. It's Kane is smiling. Don't tell me Kane is a Eugene fan. Yeah! <laughs> Who's your boy standing in the middle of the ring? The Rock. Who is the people's champ? The Rock. And who is your favorite wrestler of all time? Triple H. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> Take him back there and finish the job. Let's hear it for Eugene. <laughs> this silent, stoic oh, character. I remember this. I remember this character too. It's like. He was just, uh, <laughs> it's just crazy, bro. <laughs> it's so crazy. He would just sit there, have this trance state, and then as soon as that bell rung, it's like he transformed into a whole nother human being and was a technical monster in the ring. Well, I wouldn't say technical, but he, he was just destroying people in the ring. It's funny, bro. Renowned for his resting facial expression, Jesse was his tag partner and handler that did the talking while Festus stood there gazing into the camera. Who's when the champ is here? <laughs> I, I, I bought, I you bought, bought this? Did y'all hear that? Festus' entire face and demeanor changed once the bell rang, however, <laughs> as he morphed into a crazed menace that could wrestle. And uh, the bell rings it. Yep. Watch what happens. Watch what happens to Festus. The ring and getting involved. Hey, Jesse just rang the bell, and you know what that does to Festus? Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Showtime. And that is the transformation that we heard in there. Watch to know that's Gallows, realizing that that's Gallows. Or whatnot. <laughs> and this is what he was doing early in the WWE. Man. It's crazy, bro. It's the transformation. There it is. I, I, I believe that answered your question. So basically, the rules of a Santa match are simple. Here he goes against Santa. Oh, no. Oh, the bell rang. I forgot about that. Could be uh, thrown over the railing into the third row and still lose their championship. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse and Festus were around during a period where creative was quite weak with little variety compared to previous years. This meant their characters weren't too fleshed out. That being said, the duo still had some fun moments during the short time they were together. I'm Jesse, and this is my partner Festus. And this also is my partner Festus. That face is the face of a McMahon. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bro. Tomorrow. Okay. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> the Hall of Fame wrestling career already behind her, Mae Young debuted in WWF age 76. She was still tough as nails with an outlandish personality that was on full display. Mae liked to get down in various different ways as she often found oh, herself yeah. in hilarious situations. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> What is going on?
quite her age, may love to get physical and take bumps. Yes. Instructing even the male talent to lay in. Yeah. She was taking bumps. Belt for just a minute while I answer this question. Oh! Gosh, what the heck? Oh! Damn! Bro, this is a different time, bro. Oh my god. She wants to get a power bomb off the cage through a table. She was the true team player. Bro, this is one of the I don't care what nobody says. I know this was a different time. But this was one of the coldest, but unironically, one of the coolest spots I have ever seen. Only because not because she's just a woman, it's just the fact that at her age. She she took this spot like a champion, bro. Most people, most guys are not one to take this spot. She took this to really sell the fact that the Dudleys, they needed help. <laughs> and they were mentally unstable, but they love putting people through a table. And this was, oh. No, God, no, for God's sake, get out, get out. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh my God! Joni May Young wrestled matches in seven different decades. May was yeah. also quite the lover, as seen from her romances and pregnancies in WWE. Oh, sweetheart, here I am. Not with Mark Henry. Introduce myself. I'm May Young's son. This is, <laughs> all grown up. This is just wild, bro. I think you did wild. At least I don't fantasize about the May Youngs of the world. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> They're so childish, bro. Hornswoggle debuted as a scruffy leprechaun who lived under the ring and helped his kayfabe father Finley during matches. Yep. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell are you? What the hell are you? Hey, yo! That's funny. Look at this, bro. He just sicked him on Michael Cole. And then there was a little boogeyman. <laughs> oh my god! Hornswoggle later became even more of a comic relief character who was sometimes revealed to be part of angles WWE didn't have a proper conclusion to. Yeah.
your son, Hornswoggle. What? I remember this too. I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, Hornswoggle was a memorable character who not only provided laughs, but was also able to display his charming charisma despite rarely ever speaking. Hey! Hey, yo! He's fighting! Father's still kissing! He's fighting! I don't think so, sister. I think Hornswoggle knows hand to knee combat. You better know something. Oh, you're right. Oh, look at this! A little attitude adjustment. <laughs> you can't see. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, so No matter the creative, he made his TV time count during his decade-long run with WWE. He definitely did. This was wild, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought it was micro. Oh my goodness. This one's Foghorn Leghorn's foot. This is Yeah, this is the uh, like when you go to the Renaissance Fair you have the uh, the turkey leg. Oh no! Now you use whip cream. Hornswoggle. <laughs> we got some bad, bad blood. Look at Hornswoggle. Are those Hornswoggle's oh, pants? That, that, oh that my God! The sacrifice of battle. What kind of bull would steal Hornswoggle's pants? The funniest bull I've ever seen. <sighs> Even though some of it was funny, there's a lot of it that was just flat out cringe. It is what it is, but like I said, at least he made the best of it. Here's Will. Oh, 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 Sometimes hilarious vignettes promoting their debut gave fans oh, a taste of what they expected to on Monday Night Raw. Prime time's game is Prime so tight. Time. TG stops to give a shout out to his boy. Dirk. Yeah, bro, this was such a fucking stereotype, but. Day. Shit was fucking funny, even though it's a stereotype. The shit was funny, man. I can't lie to you, man. You want coffee, G? Well, what good news is. Rest in peace, Shad Gasper, man. Rest in peace, bro. Right behind you. Popo is a brother. Gone too soon. He did not sell out to the man. What you doing? Y'all staying out of trouble? Trying to go, baby. To the country club. What you want to do? It's first. <laughs> Damn, that's some great A prime for crime time. Pump it, JTG. Chad and JTG regularly tormented the raw roster and yeah. others by robbing their stuff. Free food. Free food. Crime time's about to hit the ring one more time. Hey, look over here, pay attention. We're going to go through the ring. I'll show y'all how we get to Oh, got to go. Still in the fucking TV. It's fucking. <laughs> like I say, it's a fucking. It's a bad. It's a bad stereotype, but it's funny. If it's funny, I can deal with it because that shit was. I know lot to you. Shit was funny. Whoa. Wait, what was he? Whoa, whoa, what was he about to say? Was he about to say it? Arrest them niggas? I didn't even, I never seen this one before. What the fuck? Arrest those people! Oh, what no, is that? no, take that out! No, please! Please! It's moving! No, no, no! Oh, let's go! 25! 25 dollars! And we love Robin White. 
Besides stealing and bringing the hood to WWE, the I also love that money, money, money. yeah, yeah. yeah. Money, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 You want to be number one? Yeah, yeah, money, money, yeah, yeah, <laughs> money, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, money, money, yeah, yeah. yeah. The greatest teams to never win the tag titles. But Facts. with so many others on our list, it was less about the wrestling and more about the entertaining mischief they got up to outside the ring. Congratulations. Oh! striking appearance was enough to make fans sit up and take note. Then add to that. Yeah, the boogeyman was he, yeah. He used to creep me the fuck out. It's crazy seeing him in real life. We saw him at the reality of wrestling show uh, backstage. He was just chilling, but just he used to creep me out just watching back in the day, bro. And even now, just seeing the person with all everything on, it was still kind of like, yeah. I don't want to mess with this guy. <laughs> the worm eating, clock smashing, and nursery rhyme singing, and you've got a truly one of a kind wrestling character. Thief. Man, I'm fitting well on sci fi. <laughs> Please explain this to me. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, that was so disgusting. For Boogeyman, every day was Halloween as he scared many fans and wrestlers. I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm coming to get you! <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I'm the Boogeyman, <laughs> and I'm coming to get you! <laughs> And it's so funny seeing the boogeyman come out there for reality wrestling and chasing Booker T and, and Charmel once again. That shit was so fucking funny, bro. Oh my god. I will face whatever adversity the life or, or the boogeyman throws at me. Take a look, Crystal. Oh god. How was that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> was quite a spectacle. He'd already smashed a clock over his head and chowed down on some worms before the bell rang. And unfortunately for his opponents, uh. there were more than enough worms to go around. Oh my, the hell is that? What is that? What is that? What the? No. Oh my. And it can't hit me. Now look at this. Oh no. He's testing him in the worms. He's testing him in the worms. Oh First time he's done yeah. something to impress me. And look at Crystal. Yeah. See, uh, she might have hurt her ear. He's eating the worms. He's smiling at that and he just spat him in the face of Crystal. Drink a drink. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Happy birthday, Mac. Oh. It's the Boogeyman, and he's coming to get ya. Kane is from the land of disturbed. Has Kane ever eaten worms? <laughs> <laughs> Stardust. As the unfortunate provocateur, Goldust was one of the most unorthodox characters in wrestling history. Yeah. Get an extra microphone in your pants. Or are you just happy? And it's so crazy.
how things have flown, come full circle. The Stardust thing is gone, and now Cody's, you know, at the champ, the top champ, man. It's so crazy to see how things come full circle. So to see his brother Cody Rhodes adopt a similar persona was a surprise to fans. Who clearly is not at home. <laughs> I could when I was five. Can y'all really just just fathom the idea that this is the guy that just won at WrestleMania 40, just beat the one of the longest reigning uh, the uh, championship reigns in the modern era. That's he's the top guy now. He's over here doing. Now, he has people saying, whoa, like that's just bet on yourself. That's all I can say. Just bet on yourself. If you know your worth, bet on yourself. Don't let no one try to sell you short. That's all I can say. That's crazy. Knock, knock. Who's there? And where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, there it is again! Look, <gasps> where all that glitters is. <laughs> Cody went all in on being Stardust. It was a big departure yeah. to what he'd been like before, but Rhodes owned it as much as he could. Gold and Stardust are not science fiction or science fact. One with Fondango. Strange. See that? Does it? Quick in. It was crazy. <laughs> and Stardust uh, with the cartwheel. Directed to Sami Zayn is the number one trend right now. WE live event is hometown of Montreal. One on one action. And instead, the Ascension ambushed the man that gravity forgot. Very true. Whoa! Tag team champion. And the master of the cartwheel. So crazy. That's a stand of scars to Whoa. Hey, yo. What would he hit my ass, idiot? <laughs> See? Now there's wasting money. People who sell tables, they're going out of business. They can't feed their families. <laughs> you either get two sides of Stardust. Either he can't focus with those. What on earth? Ugh. Cody! Don't ever call me Cody. This is not Gold Dust talking. This is Dustin. Yep. Now that's all we call him is Cody. <laughs> you are my brother, Cody. You hear me? Lackluster creative ensured that Stardust far overstayed his welcome, but we mm -hmm. can't deny that Cody didn't make the best of what he was given. It's not about which. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. One of the rosebuds attacking Goldust. Oh. Rosebuds are unpredictable. Oh. Yep. Me, the monarch of the Milky Way. The Emperor of the Imperium. No, 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 I'm just a baby. I'm a, no, I'm a baby swallowing in my sweat. This is so crazy, bro. If you this video, be sure to check out our similar videos on the fun. <laughs> He's a top champion now. Things have changed drastically. But it worked out for him, man. I'm glad, because good God. <laughs> Glad he left and bet it on himself, man. Comment down below. Let me know some other crazy, insane gimmicks you guys remember from wrestlers that weren't listed in this video because there's plenty more. But I appreciate all the love and support y'all shown on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.